<clears throat> Aged seven, I wrote to Father Christmas and told him I would much rather have a map of Saxon Britain than the roller skates <laughs> I feared he was getting me. <laughs> All right, Lee's team. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you know him best of all. That's true. True. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you didn't want roller skates? No. no. Why did you think he was getting your roller skates? Roller skates were a popular toy uh, around, you know... My, not, I'm not saying they're just a toy. Of course, they're a, a I don't know, a sports item, a, a, a novelty shoe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there were... Roller skates were being given, and I hated the thought of them. What was the attraction of the map? Well, I, I'm... I've, I'm quite interested in history, and we'd done the Anglo-Saxons at uh, school that term. Did you get the map? I did, yes. Do you still have the map? No. <laughs> Why not? Because a lot of its analysis of the Anglo-Saxon era has been discredited. <laughs> <laughs> and at seven, you were able to work yeah, this out. Just, in fact, it was a, ve a very simplistic view of the way <laughs> England was then, with these small number of rigidly divided kingdoms, and we just can't know that it was like that. <laughs> What are you thinking, Angela? Yeah, it's the kind of nerdy thing he probably would have done when he was seven, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's plausible, but I don't think it's true. I am actually 50-50 on this. I think we're going to say... I think it's true. I'm going with Angela. You're going to say it's true. OK. David, truth or lie? It is... a lie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course it's a lie. I've yet to find the courage to make a contactless card payment. <laughs> I considered it once, but decided that full pin entry was the safer method. <laughs> Please, team, what do you think of that? <laughs> what do you fear, David? Well, it's a security risk, isn't it? Why is it a security risk? Well, because you don't have to put in your pin. The only security that's relevant is yeah. that you know it's you. If you know it's fine, contactless and the pin's the same thing. But who among us? can be sure of who we really are. <laughs> Where did you consider using it, David? Where, well... I've considered it a few times in a oh, few right. places, because sometimes people suggest it, which I think is rather forward. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, you, so they suggest, you say, I'm sorry, am I keeping you? You know, you haven't got time for me to enter four digits now. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an Oyster card? Uh, yes. Ah, so you are happy with contactless there. If the Oyster card gave you the option of putting in a pin, I'd be all for it. But that's <laughs> never been set up like that. No. And I'm not so weird as to go into Oyster HQ and ask to have a particular high-security Oyster card <laughs> issued specially for me. It's very hard to get into Oyster <laughs> HQ, isn't it? Yeah. You have yeah. to take, like, a knife and yeah. prize it open. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got... You have to get past Pearl on reception. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever used it, then? Have you used it once? Um... <laughs> I've, I've yet to find the courage, so no. Do you have a mobile phone? I have a mobile phone. Would you phone. ever use Apple Pay? On, like, we can't call it that. Orange, well, we can't do that. They're, they're a company as well. Would you ever use um, Pay? Would you ever use your mobile phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can, because no, I, I sometimes you, do that. I, I'm you... quite happy to get my phone out in M&S, and I feel quite cool. I hold it, and it mm. pays it. Do you want a receipt? No. No, wow. I've, I've never paid for anything You've like that. You've never paid for anything with Apple Pay? No. What? What are you talking about? Have you, you just got a new phone? Have you, have you are you starting some new adverts that we don't know about, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think? What do we think? I'm, I'm very scared of it, so scared of I empathise with that, so, yeah, why yeah, not? OK. It right. seems so obviously him. So you've got to go for a truth. I think he fears it, yeah. OK, you're saying it's true. David, you fear contactless payment, <laughs> truth or lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Oh, he loves it. Yes. Possession. There'll be a little box <laughs> under your desk. Thank you. There There's you a card inside, David. Read the card out first, and then this when you've is, done uh, that... This is just a little something me and Rob got you for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, once you've read it out, then pop the object on the desk. OK. These are two of the best gifts I was given last Christmas. OK. Ooh. And take them out and pop them on okay. the desk. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Right. What, um, uh, Lee. What, well, first question is what I, I can see what one of them is, but what's the other one? It's a hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the stick thing? Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, it's a, a wand. 
You know, OK. Like, you do magic with it. Who oh, got don't wave it around. Anything could happen here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who fantastic. bought you it? Yes. Uh, my wife. Oh. That bit is true, in case you yeah. want to. He has, he has <laughs> got a wife. Yeah. Right. That, most people don't believe it at this point, but it is. He has got a wife. Just to give us a, a fuller picture, let's see if the hat fits. Oh, and yeah, if it yeah. does, we it. on and then okay. get the full, let's get the full yeah. effect. Ah, but does the wand fit? And then hold I the wand. So. Well, oh. then... <laughs> I... It's cool, cool. You look like a proper Dickensian gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, you, when you open the present, yeah. did you say, this is lovely, but what, what is it for? It's, uh, no, she said it was um, a wand thing where you can... There's a, it's got a battery in it. Um, oh, it's a cordless it's, one. It, and, it, and you can make it, <laughs> you can make it be a remote control. Am I allowed to touch David's wand? <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can inspect it if you want yeah. to, but can don't I... damage it. I'll, I'll, I'll get. No, do you don't, want to get it? You don't trust me to get it without damaging it. I'm just happier when you sat down. Okay. That's all. <laughs> get me the wand, please. The are, you, are you born in a little northern town called Double Entendre? That's <laughs> <laughs> in Cockermouth. I don't know. <laughs> First thing is, I can't see any way you can get batteries in this thing. And it, it's got a light on the end, so obviously it does do something electronic. But I don't know where you would put a battery. You don't put a battery in the end of there, do you? Can you get no. a battery in the end of there? No. Oh, hello. Yeah. Look, no. the, the end comes off, so we can definitely... It's an electronic item, definitely. That is a definite. And that's definitely a hat. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> right, I broke it. <laughs> Are you real? <laughs> well, something's come off the end. <laughs> David, I'll get you another one, I promise. <laughs> It actually has lost The end's it. fallen off the... There, there, it is. Is. there it is, there it is. Give me there the hat. Is. Oh, I've sat on the hat! <laughs> Give me the hat. Well, Would you wear that in the house, the hat, David? Would you wear it around what? the house? No, I, I wouldn't wear a hat indoors. Basically, you'd wear a hat like this when you've, you know, on the way from the cab to the scene of the murder. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Lee? What is your team thinking oh. on this? Well, I'm interested that Rob warns <laughs> off manhandling mm -hmm. and hurting it. Would David be that bothered? I have got history on this show. History of breaking well, he things. Owned, he owned a pen in one episode. When it was his pen. And you broke it. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> and there was another episode where he was a supposedly a beloved teddy bear. I, tried to I didn't <laughs> own. Yeah, but, but I he still... didn't know and he tore its head off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, David, yes. I, I would like to know, uh, was there any explanation from your wife at all? Mm. Because obviously you've picked this up, you well, haven't known what this an, is. An explanation? Yes, to is that why when you... you're given a present, do you offer that? Do you ask for an explanation? No, no, listen, it's let it's me quite finish. aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish, David. Was there any explanation at all as to why she married you? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's never explained that, but I don't want to ask too many questions. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon well, I leave to, it at that. I want to a good thing. <laughs> My husband bought me a dress that was two sizes too small once because. <laughs> He wanted me to lose weight so I could wear it. <laughs> he did. And then when he gave it to me, he said, look forward to seeing you in it. <laughs> so for his birthday, I bought him a coffin. <laughs> so what are you going to say, then, Lee's team? Is he telling so, the truth? Kelly, you're the saying... Lie. You're saying lie? Go oh, I'll say lie okay, well, OK, I yeah. have to go with my team and say it's a lie. So the team is saying lie. David, truth or lie? It is true. <laughs> <clears throat> I recently shooed a fox out of the garden by squirting it with water. Five minutes later, I watched in horror as it returned with its brother and ate my plimsoll. <laughs> Please, team. Uh -huh. What do you think? <laughs> I've never heard anything so middle class in all this. <laughs> I want to picture it. So you're in your house and you see the fox in the garden. Mm. Now, you don't, with the greatest respect, you don't strike me as overly nimble. <laughs> no, I'm not overly nimble, but I'm just nimble uh, enough. Between <laughs> one and ten, how quickly were you in the garden? I went out in the garden at top speed for me, yeah. which I'm afraid is now 6.7. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
anyway, you, you come out into the garden, you, you've got the hose, you see yeah. the fox. And he Look sort of moves you. away a bit, shows some, a certain degree of, of fear of, of the alpha predator. Yeah. He sees me <laughs> and he thinks, Do you know, I think I'm safe with this guy. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can't have this. I can't have the fox thinking it's one. If I lose my power to frighten off foxes, what am I? Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I grab, I grab my hose <laughs> and I, you know, so whistle some down. water at them. I don't, I don't want to soak the poor creature. Did you put your thumb on the end? So I, I did put my thumb on the end and I directed some water sort of towards the lawn, just kind of between him and me. Yeah. And that's enough. He's, right. he's off. I bet he went, after he, the fox went off, I bet he went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot he hadn't turned it off. <laughs> Sheepishly, I thought. I better get those pencils. Are you in your pajamas? I was wearing normal clothes. Well, David, we've got a different opinion yeah, of what just, normal clothes. Yeah, yes, did, you, did you? Have... It, was, it was black tie, not white tie. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a nutshell, yeah. you had a fox in your garden. You come out, mm -hmm. water the thing out the garden. Then, a little while later, it comes back. Two of them come. Two back. of them. Now, yeah. where are you at this point? I'm, I'm in the kitchen, right. noticing they've come back in the garden, thinking, dear, oh, dear. There was deer there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the fox... And then one of the foxes goes and grabs this uh, plimsoll that I keep by the shed. Why? In, for, for walking around the garden. One plimsoll? What? <laughs> no, there's two. I keep two. It's only a suggestion. Why don't you keep the plimsolls near the back door so you don't have to get your feet wet if it's raining? Well, on... you're full of home improvement ideas. <laughs> I don't know, cos I'm a moron. <laughs> what happens to the pencil? Uh, one of them savages this shoe. What's the other one doing? I, I don't know. I don't speak fox. <laughs> if you want to do a proper impression of a fox, I know a woman. <laughs> Providing you're a tad gullible, we'll show you exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on. So, no, so, so the... I say... Hello, Mr Fox! <laughs> Stop pooing on my lawn! <laughs> right, Lee, what are you thinking? Fundamentally, no Englishman leaves a pair of plimsolls <laughs> as his garden footwear oh. and keeps them by a shed. So you're saying it's... It's a lie. It's a lie? Yeah, I think it's a lie. Well, I'll go with my team, even though I think it's true. Saying it's a lie. OK, David, squirting foxes in the garden, truth or lie? It is a lie. <laughs> of course so. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. David didn't squirt water to fox only for it to return and eat his plimsoll. I find it incredibly irritating when other people fiddle with my jigsaws. <laughs> Please, team. What was the last jigsaw you did? It was, a, it was a picture of the city centre in Oxford. How many pieces was it? Uh, a thousand. A thousand. What's your um, jigsaw etiquette? Uh, et my, my etiquette? Well, when I say etiquette, I mean if you're doing a big jigsaw, you have to do it on something so that it doesn't upset everybody else's life. So what do you do it on? Uh, my grandfather's coffin. <laughs> Because we've all stopped hoping that he's ever going to come out. <laughs> uh, on a card table. On a card oh, table? Okay. Yeah. On a card table? That's yeah. nearly right. And, and you, uh, you start with the outside. <laughs> you, do, you do the whole perimeter. Yeah. Where do you go then? Then I go for recognisable objects in the scene. So which particular recognisable bits are you looking for, then? Well, there's a, a, a building in the middle with a sort of dome and a, and a spike. I'm an expert in architecture. <laughs> uh, so there was that thing, and there also there was several people wandering around, you know, like someone on a bicycle. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's saying, you know, specific... You're looking for specific things. Yeah. A person can go anywhere in the jigsaw. No, yes, they but, can't. But, they can but, only go where they go. I... <laughs> I will say. You can't go. Oh, I put a person... I'm going to put him up there. <laughs> Do a jigsaw, Lee. Yeah. Do well, you... I don't, Dave, because I've got a life, but carry <laughs> right, on. <yeah. laughs> no, fair enough. Yeah. I was going to say, do, do you use scissors? Because that's... <laughs> that's a... You know I'm not that's a scissors! <laughs> so, generally, a thousand-piece jigsaw, you're coming back to it now and again, yeah. work commitments permitting, how long does it take? Let's say... 
Three months. OK, three months. All right, months. let's say it. Three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. It's a thousand piece jigsaw, yeah. 333 pieces a month. Excessive. So he's doing about 90 pieces a week. So he's doing about 15 pieces a day, right? Mm -hmm. 15 pieces a day is borderline. You need help. <laughs> Need help, and I don't like it when people <laughs> help. <laughs> that's, 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 the point. Point. that's the point. So, Lee, what's it going to be? Alex? Well, if he was into jigsaws properly and he didn't want a fiddler, you put clink film on it. What? <laughs> You're even weirder than me. Cling film sort of stick to the pieces, and then so when you pick the cling no. film up, it would sort of undo what you do weeks right? and months of work. No, that's horrible. Because you it? buy a massive tray, yeah, you do it on the tray. Not only can you carry it around if you need to dust, yeah. but also the cling film wraps underneath. <laughs> You've watched far too many features on the one show, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> this week we're talking about tricks for jigsaws. <laughs> You probably think it's just the four corners you have to know, but no, get your cling film ready, we'll tell you after. <laughs> 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 uh, John, do you think it's. Well, I can see, I think David's the, a contemplative type of person, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and jigsaw puzzles. Uh, Kind of allow you that loose space to be uh, room, you know, yeah. to be a ruminative. T takes you to a ruminative place that you wouldn't otherwise uh, enter in the normal <laughs> run of events. But just to clarify, is it true or false? Yeah. <laughs> true. Oh, true. Okay. Go, go, go. True. Okay. You're gonna say true. Okay, David. Truth or lie? It is true. Oh. 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 